let's talk about some of the best supplements that you can use to help lower your blood sugar and keep it under control. And I will say, um, I would consult with a physician before you take any of these. Um, and this is not an exhaustive list. There are quite a few more. These are just a few that I think were notable uh, when I was doing my research. So the first one's gonna be berberine. Uh, berberine is a supplement that can potentially improve your insulin sensitivity. So when we talk about monitoring and managing your blood glucose levels quite a bit, having improved insulin sensitivity uh, is incredibly important because the more sensitive your body is to insulin, the less insulin your body is going to essentially need to secrete to actually lower your blood sugar. So uh, when we talk about insulin resistance, that's type two diabetes. What happens with type two diabetes is that your body produces too much insulin uh, because it can never lower the blood sugar. So berberine can actually kind of do the exact opposite potentially. Uh, at least in these initial studies. I know berberine has a lot of good uh, information behind it and good studies behind it. American ginseng uh, may help to improve the body's insulin secretion. So if you are somebody who uh, maybe struggles with your, your blood sugar levels uh, being too high, it might be because your body's not able to secrete enough insulin. Uh, typically, this isn't usually the case, um, but if you're somebody who's type 1 diabetic um, or just kind of borderline pre-diabetic, uh, this could be a way if you do take some of this to increase that insulin secretion. Uh, and when you do increase um, the insulin secretion through your pancreas, your body can naturally lower your blood sugar through that exact process. Cinnamon, and this is great for me because I love cinnamon, use cinnamon a lot. Uh, it can actually help the body cells uh, better respond to insulin. So you become a little more insulin sensitive, uh, similar to berberine. And again, when you become insulin sensitive, your body is essentially able to uh, use less insulin to actually shuttle that blood sugar and that blood glucose where it needs to go. Now, when it comes to uh, vitamin D, vitamin D can help to improve the function of the pancreatic cells. So this may be similar to uh, the American ginseng, where um, if you're taking vitamin D, it can basically allow you to maybe uh, increase the rate of your insulin production, which is incredibly uh, potent at lowering and monitoring your overall blood sugar levels. Uh, gymnemia, gymnemia. Gymnema. <laughs> I'm not sure on that one. Um, it's got kind of an interesting name there, but uh, gymnia, uh, this can help to reduce sugar absorption, which I guess inherently could lower your blood sugar. It would lower your blood sugar, but this might not be the best thing to do long term because if you're reducing sugar absorption, you are going to need to get rid of that sugar through some way, and that might be through just peeing more. Uh, it could be potentially through some diarrhea, I'm even thinking. Uh, and if you're reducing the sugar absorption, it's not being absorbed, hence you're not getting all that energy. So maybe not the best supplement, but still something you could consider in conjunction, again, as you talk with your doctor uh, about taking this maybe with your um, diabetes medication. Uh, magnesium can also help to um, produce more uh, normal insulin levels, uh, more normal insulin secretion levels, I should say, in the pancreas. So if you're not getting enough magnesium, it could lead to impaired pancreatic function. Go ahead and give this video a like if that provided some value for you and gave you some good tools and ideas. Um, I definitely would not recommend doing all of these as this could greatly uh, mess with your blood sugar levels, but you could just try something out. And again, of course, talking with your physician is incredibly important before you try any of these. Disclaimer there.